Hey guys, welcome back to Seller Sessions, day two, Prague. I'm sitting here with Brent, Michael, and Gil. Right, how are you finding it, Brent, so far? Well, day two, I would say just as good, if not better than day one. Yeah, what I did really you like about the, in the morning presentations? In the morning presentations, I really enjoyed uh, Franz's presentation. I did as well, yeah. I was taking a load of shots as well yeah, on the screen. I like good. learning, do you know what I mean? And I learned from Franz as well. You can never know enough about PVC. So. Yeah, and I got a chance to ask him a question that's been bothering me for a while, and I'll share it here just because I think everyone will find it interesting. But, um, you know, we were talking about the product detail pages and the kind of impression share that uh, ads have that seems to be so disproportionately weighted on those. Yeah. And, you know, it could be because there's a huge amount of, like, ad slots at the bottom. But one thing that I uh, post to him, because he has a lot more, you know, contacts and communication with people at Amazon than, than I do, yeah. um, just due to the size of their company and everything, is how is Amazon attributing the impressions? Are they doing it correctly? So mm -hmm. that is to say, when someone scrolls down, there's, like, 60 so products in that little carousel. Yeah. They're all loaded in the page. But only if the user is clicking over and seeing other ones, are yeah. those impressions? Or are those all count as impressions? In which case, the whole thing would be skewed and it doesn't mm. make any sense. Yeah. And he said, um, you know, speaking with So Amazon, you're talking about pagination going through the carousel exactly. at the bottom. Yeah. Which, which, or you know, scrolling how many down. People do? How many people do? Scrolling down? No. Uh, it's, it's maybe on mobile, I'm not sure. But even on mobile, don't you swipe sideways to see Both, more? because there's more than one slot, right? You have right. The, the ads on top, and then if you scroll down through, that there's another one of those. Yes, there's two. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So there's two things you have to... So yeah. what was his answer? <laughs> well, his answer, his answer was, and he wasn't 100% like convinced that this is the case because you sometimes get conflicting reports from Amazon, but I'm trusting what he's saying because he's talked to them, um, that Amazon is actively uh, measuring you know, where the person is actually viewable on the screen. It can be done with JavaScript or whatever, right? So they know yeah. what people are actually looking at. Mm. And those are the ad impressions. Yeah. Same thing is true as search results page. This has been up for some debate because you know, I've not been able to get a good answer, even out of the best reps that we have access to. Um, but that was like a great, that, I mean, for me, that was like worth coming here to yeah. get that answer from him. And but I think, we, we, like him. you said, it's, it's difficult to get answers out the reps. Yeah. The best answers come from the product team. Okay. Yeah, rather than the reps, because obviously the reps are good at what they do, but they're more right. on sales, there, but they're not on the R&D side. Right. So if you can speak to the product team, that's where you get better answers. I would love Gem, to speak to the product Gem. team. <laughs> yeah, and then something over that like information, I can go ahead and talk to like uh, category managers for advertising yeah. and see if they can get back with yeah. like, an answer. I think yeah. we all have questions like that sometimes that are best served by... I mean, I know. shot him some information over when there was a big disparity between like clicks and budgets and everything else. Yeah. And he was able to refund all my accounts like really fast and then was able to come with an answer and that was some an high level stuff. Like yeah. he said, so this was like a level one protocol. In two days, Jeff Bezos had it and made a decision. So, all right. You know, wow. go. <laughs> so, Gil, how was your presentation? I, I actually missed the apology, but I've, no worries, man. I've seen a lot of your presentations before. Yeah, it's, it was the same kind of routine yeah. uh, it was a new presentation so and i was I'm a little bit hungover i have to say so uh, yeah yeah i did my best but uh, i think some people got some stuff from so it. what what was it that you were covering so ah, okay, i, I so know what you're covering but you can yeah so it's it's more more about multi-channel right so yeah. um, i'm trying to help people that are feel stuck on amazon and don't really manage to jump yeah so a lot of people really struggle to 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 have a profitable only e-commerce store and uh, yeah trying to strategically tell them what, what to think about in the first step before they even start building their store. Yeah. What, um, trends wise, what's been going on on Amazon? What are you seeing the trends recently in Germany? So for anyone who's not selling on the German market, what are some of the key points you would say is some uh, competitive advantages that people can take advantage of now? Actually, I think it's, it's just, um, you can see what, what happened in America is happening in, in Germany now as well. Like okay. People are getting much more aggressive. I'm in the supplement niche as well oh, with one yeah. of my companies. Yeah. So I, I do feel the, um, the, the, the pain and uh, people, people dropping prices to, to a place where they, they're definitely not making money, but they're willing to do it yeah. for the bigger picture, I guess. So everything gets really more, more, um, more aggressive. And I think the, the timing for uh, small guys to, to jump in on Amazon is getting less and less. Of course people say, hey, it's always good, but I think uh, it's getting very, very hard for new guys. Yeah. Like we did for, I don't know, I think for you it's quite long ago, for me it was four and a half years ago, you, you're active in long, right? Five years, so yeah. that was totally different, especially in Germany, fucking hell. In Germany, man, it was like 
so Germany I was selling five jump ropes, ago. man. I gave five away. I was slot one. Yeah, and I was yeah, selling a hundred. So I remember Germany, you guys about that. But Germany now conference. is like <laughs> Germany now, from my opinion, is still like three or four years behind the U.S. market, but is picking up very fast. Yeah. But yeah. like, let's say three years ago, if you launched on Germany, it was like launching on the U.S. right when they came out with that. Yeah, it was not. That was it, just it, was, easy. it was easy. It was super easy. I mean, but you can still launch on the German market very successfully with like twenty or thirty reviews, and you can start pumping. Like, yeah, there's just. The, the barrier to entry is what I call it. It's the native language, German speaking. And yeah. so getting the, the listing done and everything, if you do it correctly, you can make a lot, a lot of money really fast in Germany. Yeah. So One mistake I see a lot with uh, sellers coming from the U.S., North American mindset, going into Germany, and please you know, agree or disagree with me on this because you're the expert here, <clears throat> is they're really trying to do a translation from their like marketing and sales from the US where they're like this product no, is no non cultural translation yeah. Yeah. you're missing the cultural very translation very salesy yeah, yeah. and don't they, they only go with benefits we have the best product yeah, yeah. of all yeah. products Trust and they don't really it's incredible. prove it and yeah. the Germans need proof yeah. No, Germans want like an engineering diagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of, like, of diagram. Doesn't really have to say anything, but it should but, look but fancy. It should, it should look <laughs> fancy. It should have lots of numbers in it, right? Yeah, the numbers I, like 2.1 millimeters. Like that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I remember a few years ago launching a product that was shit in Germany. Like the, the, the control over it was poor. Well, I couldn't really control it, but it wasn't like intentional. But the Germans ripped it to shreds. Yeah. But what I loved about it is that when you could communicate with the, um, uh, with the German marketplace there, and talk to people about the reviews they they almost come into a pen pal because when you explained oh well, you've been using it the wrong way and this is why you had this problem you had these long conversations over google translate yeah. they're and open they, for logical they're open for logical uh, and, and yeah. you can you know in some cases they'll change the review and literally i called it building pen pals it's almost like you've got <laughs> new friends now you wouldn't get that on any other marketplace so you can be really tough on you because the expectancy is there but they are fair once you have a con you converse with them if you have done something you know in the right manner but maybe yeah. they've used it wrong yeah. they would accept exactly. that and they will right. adjust that accordingly that's what I like to do yeah. but from one to three stars they'll give you a little bit of leeway yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're still German so they're sorry I can't do anything there's no one and a half Japanese stars. though Japanese yeah. oh, there, no 3.75 is what they would give you if they could yeah I think for me German was probably a little bit easier on the accounts I worked on I never sold myself but I've worked on accounts. Uh, my father being German, my grandparents ah, being okay. German, there you go. so I was always approaching it like from that like logical mentality, German like, mindsets. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, a little bit easier. Cool, guys. We'll leave it there. Uh, thank you for for joining us. I'll give you an update shortly uh, and give you more information on what's been going on with uh, the later presentations. We're going to go back in the room. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.